Yo, what is up guys? I'm here today with a live reaction to JoJo episode 6. Let's jump right into this EXO. That was too sick when he did the hormone energy in the water and shit. Turquoise blue overdrive. That should be it, right? Actually, I don't know. Isn't it like how much energy, since it like portrays attacks like with the ray of sunlight, shouldn't it be one hit and you're done, right? Hmm. Exactly. This dude is honorable. I like that about him. He wants like him like to give it his all, fight together, giving it their all. The opening. Oh, right. Okay, guys. So, someone actually told me something about JoJo. I don't know if I understand it well, but he said to me, like, you know, this season has, like, w like he said it in parts or something. Is the part supposed to be the arcs? Or, like, is that meant for arcs? For example, he told me, like, from episode 1 to episode 9, that's part 1. I was, I was thinking like JoJo was like part one would be season, the first season, and then the part two would be season two, but I guess that's not how it is, so it's broken into parts in one season, so he told me like, you know, from episode one to episode nine is part one, is that supposed to mean arc one, right, that sounds like he's trying to say it's the next arc, or what, like I don't know, I, I didn't understand it, maybe the way he said it I couldn't understand it or something. I love the, you know, like, how the opening looks, the visual, the visual, <laughs> this is the visual, those, what the heck, the visuals and everything, what was I trying to say, what the heck, you know, I keep messing up today with my words, I was just watching Berserk, and guys, I'm telling you, it was crazy, like, I was just messing up, butchering every single word that I said, I don't know why, I don't know what's going on with me today, I keep getting tongue-tied, Hopefully, you know, we're good now, and that was the only mess up. Tomorrow's pluck. Look at this. You see, but he always gets tied up in the hair, like tangled up in shit. How do you escape this? Damn, that looks painful. Look at Tarkus. Tarkus is just chilling there. If we move, our heads are gone. Look, you can see the blood like coming out of his hand too. Like squirting out. How? Wait, what? Come on, we don't have an escape route. I really think he's gonna slice his head off. Wait, let's see. Huh? Wait, what? So he breathed it in and it got strength to break out the hair and attack the... Look, he took his arm off! That's smart. I love his pride, his determination and shit. Jojo's too beastly. He should be dead after that, right? Bruford should be dead after this attack. Because I think, right, since Hamon Energy, like, the punch is like a ray of sunlight, shouldn't one hit end you, right? Or no? Wow. 
What? Sadly, he has to be destroyed. Pain. This pain is nothing to me. I would think he would be dead be after those hits and shit, but he's still good. And Jonathan isn't going to attack. Why? But I doubt Bruford is going to hit him because he's an honorable dude. Like, he has so much pride. I doubt he's going to attack him. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a zombie? <laughs> Zombies can't feel pain, right? Or can they? No, they, they don't feel it. Oh. So then how come he's feeling pain? Damn. So he's not like... So it destroyed his zombie form and is bringing back his human side. So that's why he felt pain. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the f? Speed wagon in his metaphors. I'm like a son talking to his mom. Yeah. I wish something like this could happen to Dio, where he realizes he's been effing up, like messing up his whole life and shit and become good. But I doubt that will ever happen. It was really sad what happened with him and the Queen. Jonathan Joestar. He's giving us the sword. Pluck. Pluck. It was said in like the title, it said Pluck. You know, I liked Bruford. I can't even lie. He wasn't even, he was honorable as shit. Like, I can't even hate him. Tarkus? Isn't that your brother or something? Like you guys were close? Yeah, like your friend. Why did I say brother? Really? Tarkus? You can tell Tarkus isn't like Bruford. Like he's just a savage in every way. No fair matches or nothing. That kid should have went home, right? Like he's just sitting here watching and shit, like go home. What are we doing? Uh oh, we're doing it, it's over.
Oh, they made like um, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> he just moved him. <laughs> exactly, that's the mystery here. How much energy? So he could train you? Couldn't you just ask the doctor to train you? Right? Ton pity. I'm gonna try to remember the name. Who knows, maybe it'll be important later on or some shit, who knows, you never know. Ton pity, right? How can he jump like that? What? Don't say to be oh good. I thought I was gonna say to be continued. I was gonna be mad. Tarkus, you're so big. How can you jump like that? Wow. I doubt it's gonna destroy him. I doubt that's gonna dis if he died that quickly. You know what I would do if I saw him climbing up? I would just like attack him while he's climbing or some shit, like jump on him and shit. Cause he can't attack me and he'll fall down. Yeah, what is that, right? What? Wait, what?
You know, I feel like JoJo's fighting everyone. Zep, you need to start helping. Not that he's, I'm not saying, like, Zep, come on, like, JoJo's fighting Tarkus and all of them. Break the door or something. Look at his hands. He's been trying to punch and help JoJo. And then you get the key to unlock everything. It's not working. Jojo, pull yourself down. We're in trouble? Pull yourself down so you don't have trouble breathing? Wait. I was wondering like what's... What? Why? He was peeing in his pants and said, like, I don't know why. I guess he's scared, right? He said, like, these people, he has to get away from these guys. They brought terror to his town and shit. But you could, right? Since you're small. You can't blame him for being scared, because it's like, come on, I wouldn't even do that shit if I could fit. I'm scared of, whole, like, going in anything, like a tiny hole and shit. Because I watch too many scary movies, and you know everything ends up bad when you do something like that. Speedwagon, you're not powerless. Come on, you always help us. Poco gets bullied. Come on, I hate bullies. Why mess with someone like that? You know, like that's that's messed up, that's fucked up. His sister. Hmm. He always says tomorrow, I'm assuming, and he never does. Stand up for yourself sometimes. Mm-hmm. She's right. Pain, like, you just feel pain. It's There's nothing scary about it. It just hurts. You know, like, it's not scary. It just hurts. You can do it, Poco. Wait, he could really... Can he fit in that? Like, looking at it, he doesn't look like he could fit in it. Oh, he could? Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Exactly. Do this for your sister. Save your sister. Be the hero. Tomorrow's today. Yo, Brandon, it was scary. That hit was devastating. Pogo. Please don't tell me he dies or anything. I wouldn't want that at all. Cause that's sad if he does. You will be destined to die. Wait, do you know when you're going to die? He's destined to die. What? But he doesn't know when. So, so basically that could mean any day you could die. And, like that's scary. Hell no. He's destined to die? What? That's crazy. That's what was his fate was. That's why he didn't want to tell Jojo in them. This, I hope he doesn't die for real. Like, I, I hope this isn't where he dies. I just hope so. Like, come on. We just meet him and I'm liking him. Come on. He can't die like that. That's crazy. Because he didn't say, oh, you're going to die this day. He just said you're destined to die. So this doesn't mean he's going to die, you know, in this arc or anything. Maybe a hundred, not a hundred, but, you know, like 20 episodes later or something. Not soon, you know, because it's just that he's destined. We don't know when he's going to die. I mean, unless I don't know. You guys know, but you know what I mean. Like, I don't know, but you guys know. So, that's how I feel. So, you know, it, I feel like he's going to survive this arc. Like, he's going to survive and train Jojo more. I feel like that's what's going to happen. Because he can't just die like that. Get out of here. No way. No. I, I'm not going to accept. I'm, I'm not going to accept that. Oh, my gosh. This is Jojo greatness. Poco. The homie Poco. <laughs> you saw him getting bullied. And then, like, when he got hit by... You know, Tarkus, I thought that was a devastating blow, like his head would come off and shit. But he said pain is nothing and still pulled the lever. Oh my gosh, that was too cool. I like how he did that. And you know, he was funny. He's funny. I love, you know, when they were on the, like, the magnetic field thing. And then he, he mooned Tarkus. <laughs> That was funny. I was like, what? I didn't even expect that. Like, I, I'm just watching and shit. Next, you know, I'll just see his butt. And I was <laughs> I really like the fight with Bruford, because Bruford is an honorable dude, to be honest with you. That fight was epic, to see, you know, how he was, even though, you know, like, we're fighting each other, he's giving it his all. He just wants to fight someone who gives it his all. He's filled with pride. It was such a great fight to watch, and you see them going in like that, and the end, where he finally gets, like, his human traits back, and he's talking to Jojo. He wants to know his name and everything like that. That was cool as well, because it's like, you know, it shows he's respecting Jojo, like, he knows... Jojo is a man who could do much. Didn't he give us his sword, right? Did he? Or was he just like, he wrote pluck on it, like he had the P to luck. He gave us his sword, so, you know, I don't know what happened to it, right? Do we still have it? Or like, he didn't give it to us? Like, wait, he was just writing pluck? Like, I don't know. I feel like he gave that shit to us. So we're gonna have a sword, I'm assuming. Like, that was just great. And then you have Tarkus, who's the complete opposite of Bruford. I'm like, what? Like, he, he came out like crazy and he stepped on Bruford's, you know, like, corpse. Like, how could you do that? His armor and shit. Like, you guys are friends. You fought for the same person back in the day and you're gonna step on his, like, corpse like that. His armor and stuff like that that's disrespectful that's disrespect to the max like i thought tarkus would be like an honorable dude as well but i guess he's not looking at what he does here he's not an honorable dude at all i'm just saying 
Oh, this episode's too good. You know, it wasn't better than last episode, but still, it's a good episode. I guess last episode was even better was because Dio was there. Dio was there to make things even more epic, but this episode was good. I love how, you know, we see the turquoise overdrive. Oh, that looks so deadly and devastating. I thought, you know, with Hamon energy, one hit on a zombie or vampire, you're done. That's what I thought, like, for real. You have to get multiple hits in, I'm assuming. It matters how strong the vampire or zombie is, right? Because I thought it was, since it has the ray of sunlight in a punch and shit, one hit and boom, you win. That's what I thought, but I guess I was wrong. Overall, a good episode. If you made it to the end, you're amazing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out.